Welcome to C.6.3. We're going to describe the liquid crystal state in terms of the arrangement of the molecules and explain the thermotropic behavior that occurs. So first we have to take a look at, again, looking at the structure. So a uh, pneumatic, or and this is the only sort of one that they're going to assess you on, a uh, pneumatic liquid crystal, again, there's along this vertical axis some arrangement. On average, most of them are aligned. And so they are able to flow, but within that axis. Whereas with our normal isotropic liquids, um, on average, there's no alignment and they're free to move. So rod-shaped molecules are distributed randomly, but on average point in the same direction. Increased thermal agitation disrupts this directional order until it is lost. So if we keep heating this, which is why thermo is in this name. If we keep heating this, eventually um, it won't be able to maintain this organized structure, which is maintained because of intramolecular forces and polarity. But if there's enough energy, those intramolecular forces can be overcome and it becomes completely disorganized. So the li normal liquid phase can be formed at a certain temperature. So if we were to sort of summarize how this looks, um, a solid versus a pneumatic liquid crystal versus a pure liquid, uh, positional order means do they stay in the same place? Are they locked in place? And in a solid, yes, they are. But in a pneumatic liquid crystal, no. They can actually flow up and down um, or along the axis. Uh, and in a pure liquid, again, no. They're going to be able to flow. Uh, the directional order, yes, the they have a... Um, in a crystalline solid, they're all in an organized arrangement. Um, but in a pneumatic liquid crystal, they also are because they have a, a verticality um, that's in the same direction. And with a pure liquid, though, um, you can see that they're not going to be aligned in the same direction.